Hi and welcome to this tutorial from the SBS in Wheeler, Switzerland. We will show you here how you can use the basic functions of our macros in order to produce your own vertical and horizontal charts. The macro files can be downloaded either from the YMM eLearning website or from our website in the SBS Switzerland. In Switzerland, it's under the section resources where you find the macros and the other files that they will, I will mention here. When you download the files, they contain macros for OpenOffice and for Microsoft Office. OpenOffice containing just one file, an extended spreadsheet, works with all versions of OpenOffice and also the branches like LibreOffice or the NeoOffice for the Mac. Microsoft Office contains two files, the macro that is. One is an extended spreadsheet as well, so an Excel file. And the other is a template for Word for creating the vertical charts. Besides the macros, you will also get a readme file, which you see here. And there is a lot more information in the readme file than what I will explain here. So please read this that's why it's called readme and look for the special things and for whatever questions you have i'm sure you will find an answer in there this is a vertical chart that was created by the macro and you will notice that we use kind of a narrow font here uh, that is so we can write more text into our charts and it's still readable if you want these fonts as well, you can download them from our SBS Switzerland website. Now, we do have uh, charts or create charts in SBS in order to keep our information either on paper or on com in computer. And there are two kinds of charts. One is the verticals, like here. So this is ready for working. And the second chart is the horizontal chart, which gives you an overview of a book. This here is one that has been edited with colors and bigger fonts and things like this. But the basic version of that is also produced by the macros. But before we can generate any charts, we need to make sure that our software is set up the proper way. I'm using OpenOffice here. So find the appropriate uh, places in your own software, uh, either Microsoft Office or other language versions of OpenOffice. We need to change the security level for the macro. This is under Tools, and then you go to Options. You will find uh, the area of security here, and you go to Macro Security. And you need to change the macro security from high, which is standard, to medium. Medium means that before a macro executes, you have to confirm it. High would mean that the macro doesn't start, which doesn't really help us. So you close that, and this means now your software is ready for working. So let's get started. We'll open one of the macro files and uh, you would confirm that you want to use the macros that really makes sense and this is what you get you have three areas one is where you write your information references chapter and verses and paragraph titles uh, then segment titles and if a book is bigger even section or division titles uh, the next two columns uh, which are labeled with verse and width they are used by the macro itself so don't write anything in here it will be used from the files uh, in order to write down calculation values then the green section here in the back this is again your area you write down your book name here uh, which in that case is Titus and you can change some of the parameters which uh, change the way the macro will generate the charts. Please consult the readme file for details on the parameters here. So let's start chapter 1 verse 1 and the first paragraph we call that Paul uh, to Titus 
grace. This will be the first paragraph. The next one starts at verse 5. All you write is the starting verse, nothing else. Then we write uh, another title. Hard to speak and write in different things. So, appoint elders, blameless, and hospitable. Next paragraph, verse 10. And uh, title, rebellious people silenced and our next paragraph starts in verse 1 of chapter 2 you don't need to write the chapter information but in the previous line in column D you need to tell the program where the first chapter ends so the last verse of chapter 1 that number has to be put there so it can calculate properly Please don't write anything else into this column here. So, our next title, you teach sound doctrine and so on. Obviously, this will take too long for you to wait until I have written all my stuff. So, let me open the file that I prepared with all the information already included. Again, we have to confirm that we want to use the macros and now you see how I made all these paragraph titles here and also two segment titles and that's it for this short book. Please don't write any spaces into the files that contain numbers otherwise the program cannot calculate uh, or it will hang up. Uh, when it hangs it usually stops where the error is so you know that in this cell something is wrong. So you correct that and uh, then you're fine again. Now we have all the titles. So we can ch uh, create our verticals. We can do that in two ways. One within this file here. Then it will be just a tab for each vertical. This is how they are prepared. And so you press the button vertical diagram. This will calculate the amount of verses and generate the verticals, in this case only two, in this book here, or in this uh, page here. Now obviously working with word processing functions in a spreadsheet is not really fun. So you may also generate uh, the verticals right into the word processor using the vertical diagram writer button. That's what we do now. And now you see it's an extra file, word processor, and you can edit uh, like you are editing any kind of text. And you can do that anywhere in the charts and just um, write your stuff, hopefully with more meaning than what I do here. Okay, this is what we can do, and this is how you can create your charts. Let's go back to this page here. Um, Word macro or the Excel macro rather for Microsoft Office doesn't have this writer button because of security reasons it's not possible to do that directly. So uh, what uh, you can do is either just do the files or the verticals in the spreadsheet here and then always copy a page, put it into your um, template for Word manually and work in Word. What most of our students did was they generated all the charts within uh, uh, the open office and they wrote them into VD Writer like this and then at the end they simply saved it as a Word document this way and then it was ready to be worked on in Microsoft Word. So this may be another option uh, it has proven to be practical. Okay, this is basically all about the charts. If you do have any more questions, uh, as I said, consult the README file first. Uh, if the README file doesn't help, please ask your staff on your SPS or BCC. And uh, if that doesn't help, you may write an email to us, SPS Switzerland. you find the address on the front page of the README files, and we will try and give you an answer. 
Okay, that's all. Thanks for listening and have fun and be blessed.